Well, you gotta get your bag. Mama! Oh. I can't grab both bags at the same time. Who are you texting? A friend. Oh my God. I said hell to the no, 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 no. You ain't right, you ain't right, you ain't right. And if anybody that believes in what Mama June is doing, you ain't right either. There is nothing worse than a mother's betrayal. And she continued to betray her children's trust. I cannot with Mama June. She did it once again, once again, once again. I don't know if she just thinks that maybe I've done got a little older so I can take care of myself now, but I don't really care at this point because I've been feeling less important to her. She hasn't made me a priority or any of us a priority in years. And I mean, why do it now? Did you see Alana? She crushed Alana like she was a aluminum can. Her feelings was hurt, okay? Mama June states that she is tired of everyone judging her for her past. I said, Mama June, we are not judging you for your past, but we judging you for your present right now because you're not being present in your children's life. Furthermore, you came back, okay? And you keep repeating the same mistakes. I know being a parent is not easy. I know there is not a manual for being a parent. I know sometimes parents need breaks from their children because they will drive them up the goddamn wall. I understand this, okay? Let me tell you, I truly understand. But baby, if you know you don't have a good relationship with your children in the past and you come back to make it right, you have the power to honor that, to make it right right now. I don't blame people who have drug addiction, who is trying to get their life together and make it right with their children now. At least they trying, but Mama June ain't putting no effort in and making it right with none of her children and Alana. And I was truly disappointed in Mama June this episode because they both was invited to a singing competition called The Mass Singer. I believe Mama June personally sabotaged that competition so she could go back to her new man and forget her daughter Phyllis. Let me tell you, she crushed Alana emotionally like an aluminum can going into a recycle machine. Okay? And that is not cool with me. All right? That is not cool with me. And... Alana was hurt. She really did not want to do the rehearsals with her mama, okay? She said, I would like to do it with somebody else. But she wanted to take this serious. And she wanted to be in the game a little bit longer. But no. Nah. No. Nah. Mama June had to be selfish. Selfish. Go run it back to a man. And it comes out that. She is financially taking care of this man and his daughter. I like, are oh, you crazy? Are oh, you crazy, Mama June? I heard you talk texting to Jordan. Is that where you're going? I mean, yes, I'm going to Alabama. I mean, I'm going to help Jordan. I mean, if someone needs you, you're there for them immediately. You stop what you're doing to be there because you could be that person to save that person's life. I mean, my family will be okay without me for a little while. I need to go help this person in recovery. What's your plan? When are you coming back? What's going on? <laughs> I have so many questions. I like you have to be. How do you put somebody else's children before your own flesh and blood? Especially they're not even bad kids. They're not like they're not running the street. They're not like all in the club talking back to you, trying to fight you. Alana is actually a good kid. And you telling me you gonna put your effort in somebody else's child and not your own? Oh, you must be out of your mind. You got to be out of your mind because I don't understand it, child. At the end of the day, when they was in California, they, Mama June did not spend no time with her daughter. No time with Alana besides only rehearsal. 
okay? And even the judge said they thought they was fighting. That's how you know that it is bad blood between Alana and Mama June. Oh my God, I couldn't believe it. I like, I couldn't believe it. And I said, you could tell by her body language. She lost all hope and trust in her mom. The, by the way she was sitting, okay? And I was like, that's crazy. That's crazy. And then when the competition is over, okay? It kind of pisses me off. I've been here for like 15 years now, and your friend has maybe been there, what? Not even four months. That's just, I find messed up. And I'm out see you in a couple days. You're seriously leaving? Her? Yeah. What do you mean? This... The car is waiting. She put her teenage daughter into a car with a stranger to go all the way home while she took a separate car to go with a man. Talk about the man need her most. She is comparing. The situation of putting her daughter in a car to her giving birth when she was the age of 16. First of all, Alana did not ask to be here. You chose to have her. So as a mother, it is your duty and obligation to fulfill your contract until they turn 18 to do the best as you can to help mature and grow your children. I'm like, what the hell? I like, if you didn't want your children, you should have gave them up for adoption. I bet somebody would have took good care of them, okay? And probably did a way better job than what you're doing there. I'm not blaming Mama June bad parenting because she's a drug addict. Yes, I have more compassion to parents who are drug addicts and they are on the right path and trying to right their wrongs. I have compassion for people because let me tell you, you don't know what turns somebody onto drugs. You don't know their backstory. It could be very dark. So I'm not blaming Mama June of uh, being a bad parent because she on drugs. Okay? I don't like to call nobody a bad parent, first of all. It's their behavior that I don't like, which it can be corrected at the end of the day. If you take the steps to make it right, you do so. Like, what is the problem? I don't understand. And I said, it is more mothers out there like Mama June. And I said, I think Alana need counseling so she could talk about this. Because I feel like she is really broken down inside with her emotions. And probably don't have no one to express it to. I, I would put that girl in therapy. So she could express her mama issues. Okay. Because you don't want her growing up. And getting in a relationship. And she is being resentful towards people. Because she is having mama issues. Okay. And then at the end. Mama June had the nerve to say. Surprise. You don't know what my life going to be like. What? What? The surprise was on you when your children ain't gonna want them in your life no more. And you're gonna miss out on special moments and you're not gonna be there. Let me tell you something. And I said, any man that's willing to let a woman put a man before their children is not the one I would wanna be with. I would want a man to say, hey, I'm going to be all right i'm an adult okay go take care of your children your daughter your son needs you first okay i would never tell somebody to put an adult before their kids your kids come first with anybody that is your blood that is your seed at the end of the day that is produced from you you that is a part of you. Know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. And Mama June had the nerve to say he needs me. He needs me. He's in recovery. That's why they have drug counselors. Hello? He could speak to a drug counselor. Alright? 
And I said, if a man cannot provide for him and his children, he gonna have to get. He gonna have to go to work. He gonna have to go to work, or he gonna have to get on some some government assistance, honey. Cause I be damn. I'll be taking care of some grown men. I understand and we both working and we both putting in the money into the household and we both contributing. But at the end of the day, in my household, we will have to both work. We all, but everybody got to contribute, okay? It ain't no free ride up in here. It ain't no free ride up in here, okay? I'll be dead. I'm going to be taking care of grown men unless he's sick and he can't really take care of himself. He must be in the hospital on his hospital bed, okay? But if you could walk, baby, you could work. Understand me? And I said to make light of the situation, Josh is the the light of the end of the tunnel with Mama June. Because I love how they show a man stepping up to the plate at the end of the day. Taking care of his family and adding somebody else to his family and treating them like their own. I applaud that and I recommend that. At the end of the day, I love the scene when they show him babysitting and he cannot handle the two kids. I thought it was too cute. The girl was driving him crazy because she wanted the mama to come back. <laughs> she wanted her mama. I, I don't I don't I don't blame. The little girl. I would want my mama too, okay? At that age. And I'm gonna say, at any age, I would want my mama too. But at the end of the day, Josh was not surprised at Mama June's behavior, okay? I don't think she had any of her children food. But I'm just saying, what was the point of coming back to the show if you're not gonna do the work? I'm like, I, I, I don't get it. I, I don't get it. And they saying that Mama June actually married this guy. I said, I hope he contributed to the household because I can't carry no man on my back forever. Okay, we're going to have to carry each other. When one can't do, you supposed to do. If I can't do it, you supposed to do it. Like, I should like, what is this? We, we just carrying men on our backs today in, in this world today? No, man, I can't do it. I, and I won't do it. End of the day, okay? I won't. I'll be there. Um, what are your thoughts about Mama June and how you feel about the show? Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.